Some people think Leonardo AI can't make good coloring pages, and to be honest, they're partially right. Earlier I made a video using the element feature to create coloring pages, but some viewers didn't like the style. So, I decided to test these new models, then realized we can make coloring books simply by using prompts. In this video, I'm not only going to make coloring pages with Leonardo AI, but I'll also be creating book covers too, so make sure you stick around to see the results. I've tested this AI tool for months, and I've concluded that it can't really produce an adult coloring book with a lot of intricate details. Therefore, in this video, I'm specifically looking at how it can make coloring books for children. If you're interested in creating coloring books or coloring pages for children, whether it's for personal use or to sell, please watch this video to the end. The first thing you need to do is go to your Leonardo AI account. Once you're logged in, click on Image Creation. Before we start creating, let's fix the settings. Click on Models slash Preset option and select Flux Schnell. Next, go to the Prompt Enhanced option. You can turn it on or off. It doesn't make a big difference, but for this video, I'm leaving it off. Under Style, you should select None. I'll keep everything else as is. Now let's get prompting. The prompts I'm using in this video are available in a PDF I've made. You can download it by clicking the link in the description below. I'll start with a basic children's coloring page. I'll paste my prompt, then click the generation button. Here we go, it's a simple strawberry. You might be thinking that it's so simple but Leonardo AI couldn't create such clean line art before. But now with no special elements or advanced settings, this basic prompt created these amazing results. The images have super clean lines, no shadows or gray areas, and everything looks consistent. You'd never guess it's AI generated, it looks really hand-drawn, which makes it perfect for making a simple coloring book or pages for kids aged 0 to around 3 years old. Now that you see it can handle a basic coloring page, let's see how it does with human characters. This is the prompt I'll be using. The results came out quite good. There are no odd shadows, and the anime character has nice details. The hair is cute, and she's smiling, which is great. It's not overloaded with details, so it's ideal for coloring pages geared toward children ages 4 to 8, or even older kids. Next, let's see how it handles letters. And there we have it, clean, crisp letters, perfect for an ABCs or spelling coloring page for very young kids under 3 years old. Now that we know it can create individual letters, let's see if it can create full words. I'll use the next prompt to test it out. Here we go, it's super cute right? This can help you create a spell and coloring pages for early learners. It can also work for affirmation themed coloring books. Just remember to keep it simple. We've now confirmed Leonardo AI can generate coloring pages with both single letters and full words. Let's try something more complex. I'll show you how to create a more detailed image with the next prompt. Here we have it, a cute cow on a farm. I love cute cows. Look at all the details in this coloring page. This style isn't for younger kids, but it's perfect for children ages 4 to 8, or even 6 to 12. These kinds of coloring books sell really well, especially if you use adorable characters. The last type of coloring page we'll test is one with multiple elements. So what do you think? I really like it. Before, you had to spend days or hours prompting the old Leonardo AI to get something close to this, but now it works with one try. Look at the unicorn with its horn, the clouds, the rainbow, everything turned out perfectly. It even added some extra nice details. If you want to make a unicorn coloring book for kids, this AI will do it for you. Now that we've created our coloring pages, let me show you how to make the front cover for your book. But before we proceed, I'll go back to the model option and change the preset to Leonardo Phoenix 1.0. Make sure to keep prompt enhanced turned off and the style should be set to illustration. This setting is perfect for the cartoony style we need for the covers. Then I'll paste my book cover prompt. You see how this turned out? This is exactly what you want for a kid's coloring book cover. Brighter, simpler colors, fewer details, and a 2D cartoony feel. I'll try another prompt again. But this time, I'll change the style option to graphic design vector. I'll also do a different theme so you can see how it looks. 
And check out these results, amazing, right? The prompt just works. The artwork is simple but appealing, and the text looks great. You don't have to worry about little extra text like this because you can easily remove them in Canva. I'll leave a link in the description below that shows you how to clean up your work. Still, manually creating that sort of text effect in a program like Canva could take hours, but the AI did it in seconds. You really couldn't do this before with Leonardo AI, but now you can, and the results are incredible. If you want these prompts and more, just check the link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more tutorials on how you can get the most out of these AI tools. Have a good day and bye.